mano mi ma me sarita happy nestori ma me sarita happy nestori so we just we just had lunch in Imbo and um we got back in the car and we we're just about ready to go and this dude runs across the road like runs across the road hey mate hey mate hey mate this guy I swear he's got a flashing neon sign above his head. Everywhere we go, people are always, hey mate, hey mate, hey mate, can I just talk to you about something? And this was about the truck, like just talking about the truck, control, whatever, you know, what we've done to the truck. And all those videos are posted on our Facebook page. But just the whole point of the story was that you have this flashing sign on your head yeah. that people just want to come and talk to him all the time. It's it's crazy it's though. It's just... really weird, strange, is it? It's a bit, a little bit awkward sometimes. But... Yeah, just strange. It's like, <laughs> oh, hey mate, can I just come and chat to you a minute about something random? It's not always about the truck. It can be about something else. It'd be... It's just like, oh yeah, this <laughs> guy's just a friendly guy. I'll just run over here and I'll talk to him. <laughs> but isn't that awesome that, you know? Yeah, it's... You can, you've got something that people feel comfortable with coming and chatting to you about your truck or about your adventures and, you know, you changed exchange story sorry um, about what he loves to do and he's got a, a maverick um, which is a, a gq uh, ford maverick and just exchanging stories and how awesome it is to just to meet people like that yeah and just start talking yeah it, it definitely does make your life colorful <laughs> and makes it interesting i mean life would be so boring without meeting new people and yeah getting into their world and it, it, it's just, I don't know, we just brought it up because it just happened. And just it's something happened. that happens all, all the, time. the time. And it's just, it's just amazing. Amazing. Yeah. It really is. Anyway, yeah. we're on the road. We've turned down some, I don't even we're know around, what road it is. We're going from Imbul to Menango. Oh, that's not no, Menango. No. Um, no, we're going from Imbul to Kendanga. Yes. And then Amamor. Then Amamor. All the forestry. Yeah. And then, and then we're going to meet up with the uh, full drive. North Club Coast 404. At um, the Cobbin Co. Cobbin Co. Nine that's mile. near Gympie. So we decided we wanted to drive. Well, let me just check the map. Kendanga Creek. This is Kendanga Creek Road. Kendanga. Kendanga. And then we get on Happy Valley Road. That'll be happy. totally different bushlands. Mm. Right a little while ago, there's green shoots coming through. Yeah. Right? But how weird is it? That side's all green and this side's all burnt. Sand, really, it's not 
to break in the sand. There's the sand, so you can go and sit up. Quite right. a few people here. About to get in early Friday afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, sit up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. flat grassy area and good for families and stuff. We're at Cobb and Co. Nine mile. Nine mile, Cobb and Co, I think. We've just had a cup of tea. Ah! <laughs> I'm eating breakfast chocolate. We've just been sitting around the campfire and um, a couple of people that are in the group with us have told us that you can get puffy inserts for these drifter chairs and you can get them in hot pink. You can get a hot pink puffy insert for the drifter chair. Hot pink. I just, uh, I want one, I want one, I want one. A hot pink, so it'll match my slippers. And I'll have a hot pink insert for my, for my camping chair. I think this is the best news ever. I think it's fantastic, eh? I'm so excited. You're levitating. I'm so excited right now. Anyway, this is where we are. <laughs> Stephen, come here. Hello. Look who's on the coach. Mm -hmm. Coach Cat. <laughs> coach Cat. Pretty good, a coach. Kitty coach. Go. No, you didn't say it right. Aren't they so cute? It looks like he's trying to eat that. Oh, oh look at him! <laughs> Guys, this is Keith. He's got it sorted. Woo! Okay. He's got it sorted. Okay. So Keith is Belfane. Alright. And he's Nice. Uh, Bill Fickenick Bell Basket. Help it! Alf over golf oat, golf fun bull foots, alf and hill fizz, dull fubble, bal farrel, shawl fot, golf fun. Brow fun, cook foes is bull food. Brow fun, alf opens the door for alf of the car far. Alf and pull foots to keel fee, il fin the il fig no fishing. Alf and brow fesses the stale fada. Brow found slow foots to cal far, il fin to redol first. Alf and stale farts to bal far gal found. So suddenly, crawfish! Belfast! <laughs> oh, she'll fit. <laughs> for golf, I do all five and the girl fights do for. <laughs> Bro, all five to swell from. Alfan, pull foots off on. Help his golf humble foots. Alfan, stale fights off off. You'll fit into the swell from and girl fan. It's called Felch. It's called Felch. It's called Felch. It's called Felch. But finally, Bro, Alfan, golf on two pool. A clove fump or five, bull full of fudges. Brow fan, squall foot, delphine, behold fine, bull full of fudges. Dolphog, squall foot, delphine, behold fine, bull full of fudges. Brow fan, puff hearts, bull full of fudges. So finally, dolphax, brow fan, growl fabs his dolphable bell feral shall fight go fun. Our fan, dolphax kiff hair for our fame. Dolphang! Belfang! Ah, oh, shilfit. 
Bill Fitz the bell bastards. A bit of a note all he's talking to the, to the class and how he's in, to spell things if you remember them in syllables. And he's preaching to the class and all the kids are bored to tears. And he says to the little boy in the front, what's your name? And he says, uh, Francis Barnett, sir. He said, well, Francis, if you remember a name like this, it's very, very simple. F-R-A-N, you've got your Fran. C-I-S, you've got your sis, Francis. B-A-A, you've got your bar. N-E-T-T, you've got your net, Barnett, Francis Barnett. Very, very simple. Again, he's going, oh, when's this gonna end? And he needs to notice this kid right up the back. He's not paying attention. So he said, you, you, you there in the back, stand up. He said, right, obviously you've been paying attention. I'll teach this kid a lesson. What's your name? I'd like you to demonstrate to the class what I've just been talking about. And he said, uh, Archibald Arsalan, sir. He goes, well, off you go. Uh, A-R-C-H, you got your arch. I, you got your I, you got your arch I. B-A-L-D, you got your bald, you got your eye bald, you got your arch eye bald. A-R-S, you got your ass, you got your bald ass, you got your eye bald ass, you got your arch eye bald ass. O-L, you got your O, you got your ass O, you got your bald ass O, you got your eye bald ass O, you got your arch eye bald ass O. I in, you got your in, you got your O in, you got your arse O in, you got your bald ass O in, you got your eye bald ass in, you got your arch bald ass in. How's that, sir? <laughs> this is huge. Put it down in the coals. Well, we're off um, for a little bit of a four drive. We're in uh, the, the North Coast of the Club. We're in a convoy of, I think, about what, seven carts? Um, yeah, about seven carts. Yeah. A bit. Actually, um, yeah, we're. It's probably mostly bitumen today. It's a bit more of a tour than anything. We're going to go up to a lookout and then up to Mother Mountain. Mother Mountain, yeah. Rock pools. Rock pools, yeah. yeah. Which would probably just be rocks and not pools, but anyway. Yeah, rocks um, and no pools. But um, yeah, it should be good. Mostly bitumen, maybe some dirt road, but two wheel drive basically. Yeah. Uh, it's more of a meet and greet weekend for new members and visitors. Not new members, but new guests and visitors coming to the club. Yeah. So it's North Coast 4x4 Club, they're a really good club. Uh, today we've got a lawn leading. Uh, we might go down to Tin Can Bay for lunch to go to like a fish and chip shop down there or something. And then, yeah, yeah back at camp. We're actually camping, I think we told you, at Nine Mile uh, Cobb Co near Gympie. It's really good, the hot showers there are really hot. Um, it's about 30 bucks, I think, a night, isn't it? Yeah, for the two of us, it's $30 a night for an unpowered site. 30 bucks a night, unpowered. But yeah, the showers are really good. They've got a shop there with everything that you'd want. Um, so, yeah, it is school holiday, so it is quite busy, which is not always our cup of tea. You know, we prefer the off grid camping on, on ourselves. But no, so come along for the drive, and yeah. it should be pretty cruisy, but uh, yeah. Hope you enjoy the day. I hope there's not too much dust in the way in yeah. the video because we're in the convoy, but yeah. it'll be good. Uh, we'll take you along. Yeah. Well, this is Mother Mountain Rock Pools. Not much water in here. I don't know what's happened over there though. Uh, that must be why they've closed it. No. It's just one tree, but oh, maybe there's more up there that's like. Maybe. I don't know. It's a picnic area. No, oh, there is water. Yeah, this would be lovely in the summer. Yeah, it'd be beautiful.
in ten days at low tide. We've skied through here before. And he's about a foot deep. Oh well guys, that's the end of the video. We just drove back to camp and spent a bit of time back there um, hanging around the fireplace. It was a great weekend. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. That's how you'll help our channel grow. Um, we'll see you on the next one.